We're about ready to check out of the hotel. We are going to take a train toward the, the city where the next spot is in, and then a taxi from there. Originally, we were planning to take the taxi, but I think oh, we're no, taking no, the, the train. The original train, then taxi? I think the new plan is train, then another train. Okay, yeah. I think we're replacing one of the taxis with a high-speed train. That's what I'm thinking, to save more time, because we need to get there quick, because I think original plan was two or two and a half hours of actually exploring time. We're trying to get to three, three and a half hours. So if we can get there an hour earlier, that would be good. I think we're ready to go. Oh, yep, bags are packed. Ready to go. So we just had to try like every single credit card in our wallets to get something to work at this hotel. And nothing worked, so we're gonna have to pay for us. Um, it's kind of annoying. We thought our credit cards were gonna work here. Um, but they don't seem to be, and we don't have very much cash because we were banking on credit cards. Because, you know, in Europe, we brought, we took out so much cash, we ended up using none of it because we used our credit cards everywhere. Now I'm wishing we had Chinese money. We're getting another cab now to head to the train station. So, uh, the taxi driver didn't want us to close the trunk. Brian's suitcase is back there, so hopefully that doesn't fall out. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Yeah. Well, we'll probably hear it. If it comes out. It's a big station. So this is the line just to get a taxi. Here we go. This is the opposite of the other station. Yeah. There were too many taxis for people and now here's too many people for the taxis. Another day, another cab ride. This is a mess getting out of here. Yeah. So we have to ride getting out. on the side of the road. This is technically a road for these scooters and we're just hugging this wall just trying not to get hit. Um, yeah, this fence is pretty big and I don't know if we're able to climb it or find a way around it. We'll see. Got a train engine right there. There's metal sticking up everywhere. Do we want to see if there's a better path? A buffer from all this debris, but I don't know. So there's no way from over there? 
It looks, it looks like pretty nasty tent. over there. Okay. This looks like a it. creek or something. I think it's going to be guess, bad either way. All I, of them so I thought close to the fence is usually what most people might do because they want to run the perimeter of the fence. So maybe there's a better route through there. Okay. Maybe there we, isn't a route, but maybe we can make a better one. Yeah. Okay, so let's go that way. The fence is open, so we must be on an urbex highway. What? Steel power. Steel? Build yeah, everything with your steel, steel power. Yeah. They're demolishing it right now. Oh. Is that what that is? It's that's what this looks ripped apart for, because they're halfway demolished. They're moving oh, yeah, right. You can see the, you can see the, the shoes, yeah. Yeah, Looks abandoned. Tastes abandoned. <laughs> it is abandoned. <laughs> That's pretty neat. This one, so it will be a one up here. Then you get your rice from one place, right? No offense to you, Chris, but this building is probably not very interesting compared to what's down there. I got one. <laughs> That's all I need. Okay. I mean, this, yeah, this is interesting, but it sucks being so short on daylight. Yeah, we gotta roll. This is the cafeteria. Hopefully we can find where the Urbex Highway continues at the other end of this building. And hopefully there's no demolition going on where we're headed. Sounds like someone's staying here. Sounds like someone's home. There's a bowl for them. There's a nice bowl here. Looks like someone's living here. There's animals, but water. Oh. There's chickens. Close it so the chickens can't get out. I think those workers are looking at us over there. Are they? That's not a real deer. No. We're not too far from another building, and I think. Yeah, I think that's the one with the road.
These are the pots they would use to move molten steel around, around the mill. So what are they doing here? I mean, we're close. Yeah. We might not be done. We've got our first visual. Oh, I'll tell you now, I'm not doing this to leave. <laughs> I'll climb the wall right there. There's a train right here. That means there's probably tracks we can follow. Oh, it's a steam engine. Holy cow. Oh, it looks like it was put here for preservation purposes because there's this whole sidewalk around it. Wow. Gonna hop up in there for sure after I see the front. Camera, camera, there's a camera. See it, there's a camera. There's a camera. There's a camera. Security? Looking at the train. You see it? Uh, it's probably just because we're not climbing the train. I do not climb the train. <laughs> but you think it's abandoned? Yeah, this one's okay. abandoned. Okay, the, the camera. Oh, the camera, I don't know. But I think it was before people not climbing onto the train or into the train or anything. So you think I shouldn't do that? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm from this side though, so it doesn't see me. This yellow wood doesn't look original. Maybe it was. It's not a very natural looking decay though since it was put here for preservation at some point. This steam engine was built in 1989 and was the last of its kind to be used by this steel company. It was retired in 2002 when they completed the switch to internal combustion locomotives and has been placed here for commemorative purposes. So this is probably from before it was abandoned. You need to keep moving fast. You've got like an hour of daylight max, probably less to see the rest of the massive steel mill. Two people coming this way? Yes, on scooters. On scooters? Yes. We just wanted to see the train. Oh, oh they're cops. Security. Shit. What do we do? Oh, they saw you. We're here. Okay. We just wanted to see the train. Yeah. We're train enthusiasts. These guys look serious. Are you still filming? Yeah. Still filming? This does not seem good. No. This is worse than any other. That says police. We went out in the open just a little bit and then they came around the corner. Yeah. Oh, wow. And they're looking right at us. This place was supposed to be like an easy place. So. We go? Everything okay? What? It's not. This is about the
So they were coming to open the gates for the workers, and then they saw you. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh uh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I don't know. Hugging the wall, trying to get out of here. There's so many people in the property now. I don't know what's going on. So that camera, I for sure thought it was abandoned because it was all rusty and dilapidated, but those security were coming right for us. So it didn't even matter that we happened to be out in the open when they came around that corner. Um, yeah, I would not have guessed. More cars, yeah. Yeah, this place is not that abandoned, but um, those guys were some sort of half police thing. They weren't full police, but Ran did her talking as usual and got us out of that situation. They're all still way back there. Anyway, that was probably our closest call yet of China. Um, we're trying to get to a decent street corner where we can call a cab though, because this is like not even a real sidewalk. That's what they're saying because coming soon. They're turning into a museum kind of thing. <laughs> Did you guys see that? They had like a small army in there. I know. <laughs> There's like at least 20 people in there. There's a fresh flag on top of this building. Yeah. Like doing something. Are we gonna try to call one or fly them down? 